the Legal and Contractual Requirements Register. There is a need under 27001 to understand all of the laws that apply to our organisation, any regulations and any contractual specific requirements. You don't have to record them in this way. It may be that you've been provided by legal counsel already with a list of appropriate laws and we can evidence that it's been reviewed. But if we haven't, then this is a handy document and quite easy to complete. What you will see is it's broken down into individual sections. So we're going to say the standards that apply to us. If you're doing a 27001 implementation, then 27001 applies. And we're going to say the date that it was last assessed and the next assessment date. So we're going to say the date that this was understood to be required. And point to note is that it should tie up with the version control on the version control front sheet. We're going to look at things like regulatory requirements, if they're applicable. If you're in uh, gaming or financial services, there may be regulatory requirements. Again, what are they? Why does it apply? When did you last assess it? And when are you going to next assess it? Next assessment dates can be set for 12 months. Uh, are all based on risk. Contractual requirements as part of the initial build we're not going to worry about unless you know them but sometimes if you work with clients they may have something very very specific and then we're going to go through the legal requirements. Now the legal requirements has been pre-populated with a number of UK specific and UK orientated laws if you're outside of the UK, then you're going to have to delete all of these out uh, and populate it with the laws that are applicable to you. We are not a law firm. We do not provide legal advice. We do not provide legal services. These are just common laws that over 20 years and our experiences are ones that have come up time and time again with our clients. And it's here to help you and fast track you through it. You can either add to it, you can delete from it, uh, you can amend it as you see fit. The way that the legal requirement register is you will see here that there is a hyperlink to the legislative.gov.uk site that specifically looks at that particular law to give you guidance on it. One of the things that we did is we searched the entire website for anything that had keywords like information security or data security or data protection to come up with this list. So you're going to go through the list either uh, here that's provided or add to it and you're going to record what laws apply to your organization where they were required when you last assess them and when you're going to next assessment we strongly recommend we strongly advise we strongly encourage that whatever list that you come up with that you run it past your legal counsel legal requirements on an organization are specific to that organization and you really need the guidance and expertise of legal counsel to help you to populate this they may either provide you with a pre-existing list that they have through the work that they've done with you or they can ratify this list as well. So there are no guarantees or warranties that come with the list. This is purely a template to record the information that's required. The requirement is, is to have a list of laws that apply to your organisation and to you to have reviewed them for relevance um, prior to going for certification, ideally within the last 12 months.